Um, you both have spent a lot of time building a fan base for your other projects. Uh, what are some of the challenges of starting from scratch with a new project? Um, we're actually, it's lucky, but we're not, it's not totally from scratch because of all the other events. So we're using a lot of the resources that and connections, you know, networking and people who we met through. Right? Yeah, basically. Through past things. And, and there's also a degree of that as well. You know, there's definitely a ton of people that are seeing us for the first time and being like, I don't know any of their other bands. Like, you know, who are these guys? Yeah. So, and it's cool. Um, it's like anything else, it feels good to build like, the house from the ground up. Yeah, no, it was organic this time. Yeah, really organic, just everything fell into place with, uh, you know, manager, Richie Arbo manager, and uh, Asians, you know, venues, well, since we've already done the work, you know. How does this work as far as your other projects? You just kind of create a balance in between the two, or? Um, Rack is taking like a high, well, I mean, not really a high hiatus, but a high hiatus. I mean, we're not really playing so much anymore. My guitar is Rack, um, involved in spirit and now. Right. own project. Um, that's a, that's my So Kung Fu's my it's my I mean Yeah, pretty much the same thing with the breakfast where you got a Halloween show to come out we're gonna take a break after that. So we're focusing on gun food. Basically we're wiping the slate. We're cleaning the board. No we're longer we're side the board with a whiteboard. It's like the UPS commercials. Yeah. 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 This Thank you. I've made that butterfly for that you. Awesome. I appreciate made it that. for you. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> playing fusion and matching melodies as Kung Fu does seems as if it would involve a lot of practice and rehearsal. Uh, how much work goes into learning that material? Until we get it. We rehearse a lot. It's crazy. That's no, we're never rehearsing it. <laughs> no, we rehearse a lot for our age, man. We're not 24 anymore. Yeah. They were only like 27, all of us. They're like 27, 28, so it's tough. Back when we were in our early 20s, it would be easy to like get a house together and, you know, live together. Right, we we rehearse it enough to, yeah, 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 like once a week, which is crazy, it's unheard of. Kung Fu is kind of a, a tough name. Uh, I feel like I can kick both of your asses. Uh, Good. But why Kung Fu? <laughs> Um, there you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna let him. When I, I met Dave uh, in Connecticut a couple years ago, um, I sat in with a band he was playing with, a totally random place in like Westport or something for like the 20 people there. Mm -hmm. And I started talking after that about putting a band together, like this project. And, like not even a band, it's like a bunch of guys that would play well together to do this thing in New Haven on Monday nights. We needed a name for it, and I was on the phone with Dave, and I have a three year old Oscar. Um, go to bed. Um, he was watching Kung Fu Panda on repeat every, like, the movie would end. He'd be like, Daddy, what I'm going to I'm like, okay, Kung Fu Panda. And I know all the words to it. And I was on the phone, I was like, what about, we were talking about this crazy band name. Yeah. And then I was like, what about Kung Fu? You know? And it's stuck and it's cool. And it's him. He found the definition of Kung Fu and, like, went deep. Remember, what was the... It just means like excellence in a subject there. Excellence in any area of life. You know, you're practicing Kung Fu, you're, you're getting into it. You're getting into it. Uh, how has the tour been so far and how have the Colorado dates gone? Colorado dates have been awesome. Been fucking great. We've had a great time. Yeah. Super psyched. I mean, around. So good. Oh, hey, hey. He was like trying to sabotage the interview. That was Zach Galifianakis. He's on tour right now too with a comedy troupe called the New Canadians. It's like a secret thing underground. Um, I think the fucking tour is ridiculous. It would yeah. for, for this band as itself is less than two years old. This is our first time in Colorado on a Wednesday night. You know, we had a great crowd in Fort Collins. It's nuts, dude. Like, you know, we were like super, like yes, yes. And the Fox last night was great. The kids are getting it. And that's so cool to be so far from home. It's humbling. You're like yes, like. Oh, it's visceral. It's a pretty uh, open skin here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a steak. We have a lot of energy to share. We have a lot of energy to give. We have gifts. We're giving gifts. <laughs> Who's the weak link in the band? Some of for sure. <laughs> There's no weak link, dude. It's, it's... That's the beauty of it. I'm actually, I'm probably the weak link. I say it all the time. I'm definitely the worst one. Man. And then I'm, I'm, fucking I'm the weak link. This guy's the weak link. I'm the weak link. Adrian's the weak. You know, because we all know our 
our strengths and our weaknesses. But definitely Somerville. But everyone's so strong that we don't have to play our instrument just watching the other person play. They're like, what is going on over there? It's beautiful to watch, you know. Yeah. But it's really Somerville. <laughs> it's ultimately. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Love being the worst your new album. Fucking 11. Yes. yes. I enjoyed it. I'm not even going to label it. I love that album, man. Some of those today, like, yeah. It's limiting. I, it. I think that album is limitless. There's no limit to it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm really personally proud. I think the band's super proud. It sounds like we spent a ton of money in the studio, and we actually recorded the whole fucking thing in my drummer's living room. And we would, like, stop when the furnace came on because we were like, all right, the furnace. It was like when you're playing hockey when you're kids, like, oh, game on, the car. You're like, oh, no, furnace. Space bar. Yeah. Uh, but it came out really, really good. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate both of your time. We appreciate your time, absolutely. I'm sorry, yes. I ruined your interview. It's this bar. Send a bill over or something, you guys. Nice. 